Alrighty, so today we're doing a tire shine comparison and basically what I'm doing here in the studio is I'm going to try and find if uh, one of these new jail tire dressings can replace the jail tire dressing I've been using for premium details which are my ceramic coating packages and the reason I use a jail tire dressing which I have been using wipe and shine for about a year now is because usually for maintenance details I'm using a water-based dressing like this one from Veros, which is my go-to water-based dressing, especially here over the last six months. I've really, really liked this dress and I haven't seen a tire that it goes on that it doesn't look just amazing. It goes on very well and looks good on every single tire I see here in the studio. But with like most water-based dressings, I take it, I spray in the fender well, I spray on the tire, I come back around with the brush, I apply it to the trim. But when you do a ceramic coating, you don't want that aerosolized silicone in the air floating around landing on the coating could cause streaking not make it look quite as good plus you just don't want anything like that in general getting on a fresh coating so i use a gel dressing like wipe and shine for my ceramic coated uh, vehicles freshly ceramic coated vehicles because it doesn't aerosolize you put it on a brush you brush it around the tire it's good to go level it off no sling it lasts a little bit longer usually with these gel dressings than the normal water-based dressings do you usually get a couple more weeks of protection and uh, here recently, I've got a couple brand new ones here in the studio I've been wanting to check out. So we got Nero Tire Dressing Gel from Labo Cosmetica. It's brand spanking new. It is a solvent-based dressing. And unlike the cheaper, nastier solvent-based dressings, this one actually leaves an enriched look with UV inhibitors that penetrate deep in the tire, acting as a protective shield against harmful UV rays that may premature aging, cracking, fading over the years of time. So this one leaves a good protective coating on your tire, rather, than promoting dry riding like most of the cheap solvent-based dressings do. So I'm sure it toes a fine line between the solvent and the protectant in the, in the dressing, but it's supposed to be completely dry to the touch when you apply, so I'm looking forward to checking this one out. Next up, I've been seeing this one all over YouTube lately, Next Level Car Care Tire Protectant Gel. It says it's a water-based tire protective coating, lasts for months, protects against pollution, ultraviolet light, all that good stuff. So this one, more water-based, and it says it still puts down a really good layer of protectant on your tire. So these are two top candidates that I'm looking forward to testing to see if they might replace the great Wipe and Shine from PNS, which I've enjoyed a lot. And Wipe and Shine, water-based as well, just like uh, the Next Level Car Care, works on wet and dry tires and uh, leaves behind a good little coating as well that lasts about four weeks or so. Now, the reason I'm still gonna put on Veros water-based tire dressing in this one too, because it is kind of a gel too, it's pretty, pretty thick this Veros dressing but it is a uh, more water-based but it's it's thick like this because it's so concentrated so what you do is you buy you a 16 ounce and have you a 32 ounce ready to go dilute it one to one you can see here I had distilled water already ready to go in there and then you're going to mix your 16 ounce of dressing in with your 16 ounces of distilled water and that's going to make you 32 ounces of product you can see how thick it is when it's at full concentrate there but i just wanted to compare make sure that you know these other dressings are outlasting my water-based dressing of choice adding some extra durability that kind of deal and i'm curious to how this veros dressing uh, performs with initial water behavior and the chemical test now our veros dressing is ready to go and the veros dressing does say it contains the uv blockers protect surface dust repellent Tires will not sling, customizable sheen, long lasting formula. Can dilute this, you know, four to one, get a more matte look. I get a lot of comments on my Instagram on what dressing I use for the detail, this and that, and it's usually the Veros dressing whenever I'm getting those comments. All right, so we got two applicators. We'll use the black one for these two, the red one for this one. This came with the next level uh, car care dressing. So this is their recommended applicator. One side will be next level, other side will use a Nero, and then same, one side will be wipe and shine, one side will be Veros. So let's move these over here and get to dressing this tire for that initial, to see what initial application looks like. All right, let's start with Nero. Has a little tip there. You can see it's a clear liquid. I think both the next level and the Nero tire dressing are clear liquids. Kind of butterfly there, that should be all we need. Put a little, put a little extra on there, just to make sure we put enough, especially in these treads, these grooves up here. All right, so that's Nero. You can see it kind of gives you a, 
very matte look. And by the way, you saw the tire get prepped in the previous video with the two tire cleaners, and then I did solvent wipe so we have the best possible bond for this scenario. Next up, Next Level Car Cares Tire Protectant Gel. Been pretty popular on the YouTube as of late. So I'm looking forward to checking it out. It is a white, creamy mixture. Definitely very thick. And you can see you're gonna get more of a gloss with the next level. That looks really good. I like the way it's looking. I'm seeing why this is getting good reviews. Goes on really nice. Just making sure we're working it into all the grooves. And there you go. I'd say I'm really digging the way that next level dressing's looking. The next up, we'll put a little wipe and shine. Usually want to apply this with a brush, but today we're going to use the applicator. It is a uh, bluish viscous liquid there. I'm actually not wanting to work into my applicator here. I think it's going to look a little like that next level dressing as well. We'll see. We do have two different applicators here. It's not wanting to spread like the next level. Flip this over to this side. And there you go, get a little Veros on there. Veros, very easy application. I think it has some really good self leveling capabilities is what I notice when I use it a lot, which makes uh, great for uh, speeding up the process. That's why I like to spray it in, spray it on the tire, spray it in the fender wells, and about time I'll go do all four sides and come back and it's already starting to set up, and then I just kind of brush it in, level it out. This Vero's dressing is usually looking real nice. All right, so now we're gonna pull the tape off. We have the Labo right here on the top. You can see the control section moves into the next level dressing that seems to be matting out. Not as glossy as when we applied it. Then we got the wipe and shine. It stays pretty glossy. Next level wipe and shine. That rolls into the Vero dressing. And then that comes back to Labo Cosmetica. Alrighty, so you just got to look at them in more natural lighting. I didn't let them set overnight or nothing. It's the same day, but I think they've uh, completely cured and they're in the same order. Uh, Labo Cosmetica completely dry, the next level completely dry, PNS, yeah, completely dry, Veros, completely dry. So all four completely dry to the touch, very impressive stuff. I didn't even knock them down or nothing, I just let them air dry and uh, they look really nice. It's uh, hard to pick a winner, but PNS is a little bit glossier and I'm kind of liking the way it's looking. I thought Veros was going to win this but it looks like it matted down a pretty good bit and, and I like it, but I'm really liking the way uh, Wipe and Shine's looking right now. Followed by Next Level, Veros and Labo Cosmetica, something, it's a little splotchy on the flat parts. Over here on the tread, it's a little splotchy. Right here, it's a little splotchy. I don't know, I don't know why that happened, but it looks a little, little off. But that's just my initial inspection of all four. The other three don't seem to have that splotchiness anywhere where this one looks like it's uh, it could use a second coat. So this is just one coat. If I saw this, I would definitely come around with another coat. What we're gonna do now is kind of a little bit of a torture test. I'm gonna get initial water behavior, see if they're hydrophobic, see if they can survive just be getting wet. Uh, Cause if you drive through rain, you know, and uh, one cuts out then you know, that's not really no good. And then we'll blow dry, ego blower, and then we'll hit them 
with a, what's left of my Ethos wheel and tire cleaner. We won't agitate the first go around. We'll see what the chemical does kind of naturally because you're gonna drive through you know, some nasty stuff that'll you know, imitate some real world you know, nasty stuff you drive through. Rinse that off, get the water behavior again, blow dry it again, and then we'll do a round of this again and agitation, just light agitation, and see if one of them survives all that and see if we can figure out which one's more durable. Veros should not beat any of these three, so that's not what I'm looking for out of this one. This one's already earned its keep in my studio, but I do want to see it's, uh, how long it can hang around. Now out of these three, I am determining which one I might be using on the next ceramic coating job and going forward here in the studio. So let's get some initial water behavior and check them out. Interesting stuff. I'll get you handheld in here a little closer and see some results. Labo Cosmetica. Looks real nice, really hydrophobic. Next level. Not as hydrophobic. Still a little hydrophobic, but nowhere near as much as a Labo Cosmetico. PNS. PNS really hydrophobic. And Vero, surprisingly, a little hydrophobic. Not as much as the two very hydrophobic ones. All right, let's give it a blow dry. Okay, so the sun came out, makes it a little harder, but it looks like the Veros has pretty much left the building. Here's the tape line from a Labo, and can't really find where the Veros starts. Maybe somewhere in here. And down here you can see similar, there's the PNS tape line, and the Veros kind of blends in. So, Veros not looking like the most durable of uh, the bunch there, but you can still see clear tape lines of the others and see that sheen they're putting off. All right, so now let's hit them with some ethos and check out the chemical resistance of the more durable products. Two sprays, two sprays. Two sprays, Veros is already gone, but we'll hit it with a spray too. If I'm noticing any difference, not really. You can kind of see the PNS kind of fighting it off a little bit. A little bit of labo going on here. All right, so now that that's dwelled about a minute, let's give it a rinse off and see how they look now. All right, so very interesting. Labo still doing looking, looking good. You can see the tape lines from here. Next level looks like it has blended in some. Can't really see any hydrophobics going on at all, but you can still see where it starts, where we started applying that dressing. PNS, super hydrophobic, probably the driest spot of the tire. Vero is super flat. Like I said, wasn't expecting that to be the most durable. I'm surprised it kind of came all off with uh, the water though. All right, I'm gonna blow dry. Let's inspect, see if we can see the tape lines after it's dry. All right, let's get you in here. So you can still see Labos is very prominent on this side right here. You can still see next level, but it's not as prominent. It definitely took a hit. And PNS down here, you can still see where its line is and the next level. So from that round, it looks like uh, next level took a hit and these two are still competing head to head. So this round, we're gonna do some agitation. One, two, one, two, one, two. Spray on the brush. I'm not gonna sit here and try and scrub them off. And I'm just going to go around the tire. Give it a little agitation. Going on.
Let's get you in close. You can see uh, the next level side is pretty much all uniform at this point. Labo, you can still see that tape line, even down here. You can see it's still trying to fight off that water. PNS the same. Still see the tape line there. You can still see the tape line down here where all the flat water is and the PNS starts. Let's blow dry and see what they look like. All right, see if I can get you in here. Labo still has a prominent tape line. Looking good. PNS not as prominent for sure, but still there. But yep, I'd say Labo, I think is the winner at this point when it comes to the durability. As PNS is fading out, the next level, you can't tell where next level started or ends. You kind of see right here, but it's pretty much gone. Wipe and Shine is definitely still there, but nowhere near as prominent as the Labo Cosmetica. All right, folks, there you go. We're gonna call it an uh, end to the test there. I think Labo's clearly the most durable of the four. But following up close is PNS Wipe and Shine gel dressing. It's right behind it. So durability-wise, Labo Cosmetica second, uh, Wipe and Shine third, next level. Like I said from the start, I wasn't expecting this to hang around too, too long. I was expecting it to survive water a little longer, but you know, Maybe if I'd have let it set overnight, but it didn't in this test. So a little disappointed with that, but I still really like this dressing. It spreads out really nice. Uh, appearance wise, I did give it to wipe and shine. So the reverse there, and actually next level looked a little better in my opinion as well when it was fresh. So there you go. I hope you gathered enough information in this video to uh, see which gel dressing you like the most. I could definitely use uh, either one of these interchangeably, get some really good results. Like I said, application looking wise, I would have went with another coat of this. It was a little splotchy in like the flatter areas of the tire for some reason, but that may have something to do with the solvents actually seeping in and bonding to that rubber as it is a higher solvent dressing. So I think another quick pass would have leveled that out, but I wanted to keep them even. But there you go, that's a quick comparison. I think I, I gathered enough data out of this test for sure. And I hope you did as well. Hit that like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll catch you on the next one.